Hello everyone, this is Sharmin Khan from Milky Way Art Design. So today I have this 16 inch by 16 inch gallery wrapped canvas. And recently I found some, uh, I went to Sharwin Williams and they had 25% off. So I bought a bunch of um, dark color paints uh, for base. So today I have with me, it's Blackberry. So I'm going to use um, this for my background. And I want to do a monochromatic um, bloom composition. Let's see how it turns out. The colors that I'm using today, I'll just show you. This is Brulee from TLP. It's beautiful pigment. Um, actually, no, this one is Brulee from TLP. Now I have Winter Heaven, also from TLP. These are all pigments mixed with my pouring medium. The recipe for the pouring medium would be given on the, written down on the description section of the video. And also this is my um, titanium white for from Amsterdam Acrylics. So these are my three choices. Now, I am going to spread my paint. Also, I'm going to make sure I have some extra paint on the sides so it will drip on the uh, sides and it will cover the all sides nice and smooth. So, that's what I did. Going to spin a little. I also want to make sure that Have some Naples yellow. That's what I'm going to start with. I'm 
going for brulee. Titanium white. And winter heaven. I'm afraid I have too much paint here. I, I don't know. We'll see. So. So that's my cell activator. Okay, so now let's see. I'm going to create these indentations to give some definition. Okay, so now let's spin. So as you can see here, I have a lot of paint here, but it's not um, coming down with the spin. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some more paint here. So the weight of this extra paint will bring the whole thing outwards. Hopefully that works. Let's see. As I'm looking at the composition, it looks fine so far. It's not too bad. But the Naples yellow is not looking pretty at all. Like, I really am not happy with the Naples yellow that I added here. At first, I thought that it would be staying at the center of the flower, but it's, since it's spread everywhere, I am not happy with this. Well, after thinking for a while, I have decided to redo it again without the Naples yellow.
Okay, so this time I'm going to add less paint. You know what? I will not add any uh, lamp yellow. Just brulee. Titanium white. And winter heaven. That's it. Sale activator. I think it was a very good idea not to add the maples yellow. The This piece has turned out stunningly beautiful. I cannot explain how, honestly, I am inside me, it's telling me to redo it again because the flower is not balanced, perfect. But the details in this, oh, to die for. Let me spin it a little more to make sure the sides are perfect. Look at these, oh my gosh. The shimmers and glitters of the pigments. And look at the center. It's so whimsical and beautiful.
so it's been a couple of actually three four days and the paint has already dried as you can see it dried so pretty uh i wish i could show you in person so what i'm gonna do is now is i'm going to add some glitter to give it some shine so i have this tool and i'm just going to um put a little bit of it on the edge i am using joe sonia varnish because it's going to stick to the um canvas so let's see let's see how did it go Not bad. So I'm going to occasionally dip it in the Josonia and I'm going to create some lines. After this, I'm going to spread some glitters onto those lines. Basically, Jo Sonia is acting like the glue. And we'll see how it looks like. So I have this Swiffer duster, which kind of picks up all the dust. Hopefully this will help me. Let me see if I can get rid of those extra glitters from my, because I don't want them here. I just want the ones on the line. Next step, I bought this texture paste, which is when it dries, it becomes transparent and glossy. And I put that in the uh, icing. What are these called? It's for cake decoration cube thingy. Oh my gosh, I never did this before in my life. So let's see. What happens? So basically, I'm putting on a border. Once I'm done with bordering the entire flower with a brush, I'm coming back with the, actually it's a wet brush and I'm going to drag some of those uh, texture paints towards the flower. So uh, kind it kind of creates this smooth transition towards the flower from the border. Today is the final step of this project. So the idea is 
I put this um, textured little border which kind of alleviates from the sides and now I'm going to pour resin in it but the idea is the resin is going to be only on the flower not on the sides so basically this a border of textured paste is creating this border so my resin doesn't go to the other side so i'm trying to put minimum amount of resin everywhere Now to add some interest, I am adding some tempered shattered glass at the center and I'm trying to find the right um, shape of those shattered glasses that will sit inside the um, different shaped um, cells at the center of the flower. so this is basically the last step hopefully you like it i'm loving this piece because in person it's so pretty thank you so much for joining me today until next time bye and in case you like my work please do subscribe to my channel